This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Our website is ccc.qbook.tv, where you can find other audio and video episodes with photos, links, and information related to today's conversation. Subscribe to leave comments and access research episodes with applied topics and research reports. This is another rest area. This one is just outside of Nanto City, which is in the central, a little bit south of Taiwan. Again, it's along the number three highway, new highway, and it's a very beautiful location. It's set up in the mountains. What's unique about this location is you can climb up on the mountain from the back of the rest area. Today's a little bit overcast. If it wasn't, we could really see out into Nanto City, out into the beautiful mountains that are here. Really, really nice. These locations have become destination locations on your way to go somewhere. But then some people actually come to these just to take up the view, have a picnic, have a day out. Today, as I said, is not such a great day, but this location does integrate all the things we looked at. You can take a look at some of the photos of the other newer rest locations, which include a lot of up-to-date retailing, a lot of emphasis linking in with nature, and they really do draw a lot of people. Here, we could even climb up the mountain further. You can pan around there, Alicia, and get the mountain side. We could even go further up the mountain, although I'm a little bit tired out. Don't want to carry the camera all the way up there. People come here for photos and to have a day out with the family. So we're going to go ahead and walk inside. I'm going to take a quick walk through and take a quick shot of the retailing that's here. Of course, the big thing they have here are bathrooms. So, you know, you go in there, the stalls must have 50 bathrooms all at once. But the retailing is very up to date, very interesting. So these parts of the transportation system have become destinations in and of themselves, very much like the high-speed rail, where sometimes, sometimes people just take it with their family just to get on it and have a good day out, have a fun day out. So I think um, we'll go down the stairs and go take a look at some of the retailing. All right, well, let's go head on in. We'll take a look. Follow me around. Of course, the first thing we notice at this location, you have a lot of the nature metaphor right out front. Why don't you pan over there, Alicia? So when I do this, it means pan. A lot of the nature metaphor. Of course, as we enter in, you have the standard maps to tell you where you are to help you not get lost anymore, to help you find your way. And then a more recent development is the last four or five years, the development of coffee. So coffee becomes a big metaphor and it's often linked with nature and I have a lot of research on this. And of course we have our coffee stand and our tables outside for coffee. And then of course you're also going to have the required uh, children's play area. So let's go take a look at the noisy children's play area. Our play area. So this is where we entertain the kids for a bit. When they're rambunctious in the car. enter the retailing space proper. And like the photos we have at the other locations, we have the wooden chairs, which is a motif. And then we have a lot of wood on the outside. And this one even a little bit 
different than some of the others when we, we've seen with the iron works using the metal motifs or the leaf motif in here. And then of course these rest stops are always made to make it easy for you to buy gifts. And here we have, you buy a set of gifts, you buy a box of gifts, you take it home, you give it to your friends in Taipei after your visit to Nanto. Well, this is a little bit unique. I haven't seen internet access at other rest locations. A little bit of internet, even a webcam. That's interesting. Now this used to be standard fare at rest stops. It's a small supermarket. Here we're very upgraded. It's looking definitely higher end than what I'm used to, say 15 years ago. But I'm always busy, always moving around and even in the supermarket easy to get gifts. Let's take a look real fast. All gifts ready to buy. You just buy a box, you take it back to Taipei, take it back to Taichung, wherever you are. All gifts easy to buy. Watch out. Very, very busy in here all the time. Boxes of gifts you take home with you. Obviously oriented for the people who are being tourists within Taiwan. Just take a box, take it home with you. So it's a supermarket where you can get snacks, you can get things to drink, but it's really oriented towards the gifts. Oh, and I like the uniforms too, get a shot of their uniforms. So they're using that kind of native uh, Taiwanese thing for the uniforms too, that's pretty cool. And of course we have our eating area. One of the main reasons people stop by is to get food to eat, watch out snacks and of course you can get like a bendong and things like that pretty simple. Let's turn around. Film the whole area up top. They have the whole motif up here. Yeah, so here we have our native motif. How do you like this, this up here? It's pretty neat too, right? Okay, come on this way. So that's a little walk through the retailing area of the Taiwan Road Stop. Again, the nature motif is very big, follow me. Nature motif is very big. The big emphasis is stop by, get to the bathroom, number one, get some snacks, get some food, number two. And number three, always important to buy some gifts. You want some ice cream? stop that we're stopping at. This one's at Qingzui, which is also in central Taiwan. As you can see, we have a nice big walkway up here. It's very famous because it has a beautiful view. We've got a few pictures down at the bottom where you can see the view. And it's up on a mountain, so it's got a real nice area. But this is different than the other rest stops. It doesn't really have much of a nature motif. And we're going to walk inside and take a look. Of course, it's at night. It's not so crowded as it is in the day on the weekend. But we actually get a lot of people coming here. And there's a sign when we came in saying you can only stay 45 minutes because it gets so crowded with people coming here. So it's a highway rest stop that's a destination, another good example. So let's take a walk inside and look at some of the retail locations. <laughs> 